It's week five of the North American Soccer League's fall season, and the seven matches this past week were highlighted by goals and more goals. San Antonio and Minnesota kept their winning ways, and victories by Tampa Bay, New York, and Fort Lauderdale continue to squeeze the fall table. The Strikers' victory pushed them into the coveted fourth position in the race for the championship, and the Cosmos' victory gave them some much-needed breathing room. Week 5 kicked off with two matches on Wednesday night football. In the 11 welcomed Fort Lauderdale Strikers to a sold-out Michael A. Carroll Stadium, their eighth sellout in eight matches. 11 played most of the second half a man down, but secured a point as they played Strikers to a draw. The New York Cosmos and visiting FC Edmonton played to a scoreless draw to a crowd of 4,524 at Hofstra University's James M. Schuert Stadium. The Cosmos created some of their best scoring chances in the second half and had 19 shots on goal for the contest. Picked up by Guanzati, laid off of the left side, Cherishian drives it in! Knocked down, it's a loose ball, still in the box, played back to center. He gets plowed over outside the box. Saturday action kicked off in Ottawa as Fury FC welcomed Fort Lauderdale, playing their second road match of the week. Ottawa began the scoring with an early goal from Carl Hayworth. Strikers came storming back. Fafa call even the match just minutes later when he intercepted a back pass and buried a goal. Darnell King's great run down the middle of the pitch and his stellar finish gave Strikers the go-ahead goal and a critical three points that put them into fourth position in the race for the championship. In a match that was delayed three and a half hours due to torrential rain, Atlanta Silverbacks welcomed New York Cosmos in a critical fight for fall battle. Silverbacks midfielder Junior Burgos converted a rocket of a free kick in just the 12th minute, high into the top left corner of the net to get scoring rolling ahead of the weather delay. Burgos comes forward, on target and in! Fantastic free kick from Junior Burgos! The Cosmos scored late into stoppage time in the first half when Andres Flores finished a beautiful crossing pass into the back of the net. Marco Senna had his own free kick blast in the 61st minute, putting the ball in the top left corner for the game winner and the three points. In a high scoring affair, Tampa Bay Rowdies traveled to Wake Med Park to take on Carolina Railhawks. The ESPN3 match of the week did not disappoint. Amani Walker and Tamika McCandawiri put Rowdies up two goals within 10 minutes. That result held until the start of the second half when Railhawks came storming back with goals from Zach Shalovsky and Enzo Martinez to level the match. Enzo stays with it, it's two on one. Shalovsky could make it two to one and he does. And how about the Carolina Railhawks? Zach Shalovsky, Enzo Martinez down and in! Oh my! The scoring wasn't over as Tampa Bay scored the next two, with goals from Lucky Kasana and the game winner from Daryl Russell. Playing their second road match of the week, FC Edmonton traveled to NSC Stadium taking on Minnesota United FC. Scoring was started in just the fourth minute by Lance Lang, who got the Eddies on the board. Current NASL Golden Boot leader Christian Ramirez netted his 10th goal of the season, converting another penalty kick in the 15th minute. Daniel Mendez then scored two goals in 11 minutes, a performance that earned him NASL Player of the Week. Ibarra. Oh! The Eddies converted a late penalty kick to close out the scoring, but it wasn't enough to catch the loons. The first place San Antonio Scorpions welcomed Indy 11 in front of 7,847 fans at Toyota Field. Tomasz Zahorski started the scoring in the 28th minute as he found the back of the net. 
Restrepo, he'll pass out to Castillo. Castillo sends in a cross, and Neek gets a fingertip on it. Goal is vulnerable. Zahorski sends one in. Julius James headed home a corner kick for insurance. There's a drive towards that back post. Headers on, headers in. Scorpions held on despite being a man down for the final 34 minutes. And the win extends the Scorpions' unbeaten run at home to six games and keeps them atop the fall table in the race for the championship. Week 5 of the NASL 2014 fall season is in the books, and there were plenty of goals and plenty of movement across the tables ensuring a great fight for fall and race for the championship. And that's the week that was in the North American Soccer League.